Hello there. You're welcome to another tutorial on SC Toots. I'm Sir Classy, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make dance hall beat from scratch. Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. All right, so we're going to start with building our drums from scratch. We already have our samples loaded here, our kick. This is our kick here, our snare. We have two different snares, two different hi-hats, and we have some percussions here. So this project file is going to be available in our community section, and you can join our community by clicking the link in the description below. All right, so let's start with setting the tempo first. Um, let's start with, let's say 96 BPM. Let's start with 96. Let's um, build the kick. All right, let's see. All right. This is going to be our um, bounce for now. Then let's add some hi hats. See, let's layer this. Then let's come right here to the piano roll. We'll make it, we'll chop it up. Make sure you select it, then you come here, tools, and then you click chop. Adjust it a little. Then we'll have some here. And then there's a trick I want to show you to make your hat more interesting. You change the pitch, you come right here, and then you come to notes fine pitch. So we'll pitch some of this down. Then. So I want, okay, so let's extend the drum so it can be more interesting. I don't like the way it's um, keeps repeating on the same. So we just copy this, copy, copy. And this even allows um, get more variation in our drums. So yeah, then you can do this. We can even do something same. Which like we do for the hats. We can do the same for the kick as well. So we we'll select the kick, stretch it out, and then we'll come to tools, chop as well. That's fine, but let's try it like this and set the sound. I think this other one is better. All right. So that's, let's lay it with some percussions now. We may not use all the percussions, just the ones with, with same feet. I think 
this is fine. I think this is fine. So we'll go ahead and delete this. All right, so this is going to be our basic drum pattern. All right. All right, so we're going to play our chord progressions now since we already have our drums already played. So we'll come to our pattern and we'll lay out our drums. Then we'll go to a second pattern, come here, and then we we'll go to piano roll. Go, make sure it's on song mode. Then let's record something down. So it's going to be a, it's going to be as simple as that. So let's listen back and see. We we'll quantize Ctrl Q or Command Q to quantize. So we'll spread this out here. Then we'll clone Triton some more. All right, so we'll look for another bell mallet sound. Let's see how this will sound. Let's record that. Come here, create. We're simply just replaying the chords we played earlier, only that it does not have that bounce, that thumb, thumb, just a straight bounce. So let's listen and see. Let's st stretch it and see how it would be. for now. All right, so now we're going to add some more melodies. So we're going to create some melodies using um, the ANA, that is or ANA2, I don't know how it's pronounced. So we're going to create some quick, simple melodies right here. This is the presets we're using in the plugin. It's called ANA Keys. Sounds like this. So let's record something. So let's, let's hear it and see. Control Q. Adjust this. I think it may sound better up here. Yes. Let's adjust the loudness. Reduce this here. Then we're going to add our good old lounge lizard. to play these two chords that's all we're going to play 
Let's play it on the lower octave, then we may change later. Then let's take it up and see. I think it's better down here. Alright. So we're going to play um, our 808 bass with this plugin, 808 Bloodline. Something like that. And then we'll do some tricks to make it sound even better. So let's record something and see. Ready, go. All right, so let's listen. Just listen again. I'm trying to get the bounce right. So we'll come in to the plugin and we'll adjust the attack a little because it wants to be too punchy. Just a little. You can see how very little is moving. All right, then we increase the glide and listen. Now it's time to break it up and create a proper structure around this. So we'll take all of this away, give it some space. And we're going to break the drums up to some more. So let's take this right here. So we click the drums, make unique. And take out the kick. So Let's start with this melody and see. Let's see. Then that comes in. Let's look for something else. Then the verse starts now. to have this here so 
we're going to have the hook here. Now let's flesh it out some more. Take this out here. We're trying to make the verse, sorry, the chorus also interesting, not just too repetitive all the way. I think we should add parts. Let's add parts. This will go to Triton. I already have part built up in my favorites. All right, so that's the parts we're going to be using. Let's start with the intro. Pardon me. I just go with the vibe. Let's go with the vibe. I know that's not the exact progression, but let's go with the vibe. down here I think this will make it more interesting I didn't want to just copy the entire um the, the way the chord moved exactly I wanted it to be a little bit different to make it even more interesting so sometimes you can try to have a slight arrangement of, of course, the same progression, but you can arrange it a little bit differently. Let's bring this down here. I can take that out. Let's see how we sound in the chorus. I think that that 
does it. I think that's fine. So now we duplicate this. This is the second verse. You may even want the drums to keep going. Sometimes you can rearrange your verses to be a bit different. You can make it a bit longer or a bit shorter. outro because you have more than two verses so. I think eight bars for the outro is fine enough So this is our structure. We have our intro right here. We have our verse, our first verse. We have our first chorus. Then we have our second verse. And we have our second chorus. And we have our outro. All right. So if you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and let us know um, in the comment section what you think. So that other people that find this tutorial or that may need this tutorial we can easily find it on YouTube. So I'm going to play the full bit so you hear how it all sounds together. All right. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button once again. I'm Mr. Classy, your instructor on SC Toots. Cheers.